now we're going to go ahead and start uh, start cutting apart our model for for the detailed pieces like the hood and the door and this is where um, an inset tool is really going to help the, uh, the inset tool is a little bit different than um, the extrude tool because if you extrude and try to scale in it's just as um, sometimes you're not going to get a real uniform um, extrusion in and so the inset tool is um, just a little bit better in terms of giving you geometry that's uh, that's going to work so I'll inset it and, and pull it in a little bit and then I'll extrude it in especially here on the grill because uh, it's just going to give us a better option um, also here you see I deleted the faces on the grill but you don't really want to do that because you're going to be able to see through your model and going back a step and undeleting those faces is going to give us the opportunity to basically keep uh, our mesh solid so that we don't actually have a, a holy mesh where the light is actually going to be passing through the object and that's definitely not what you don't, that's definitely what you don't want um, you want to try to keep the model as solid as possible so that no light actually passes through the model. And as you can see I'm selecting faces for the hood here and making sure that I have no faces selected on the rest of the model. And I'll just simply inset here and it's going to make us make it easier easier for us to actually go ahead and um, make the detailed parts of the model here if I simply do it like this and I simply just you know duplicate uh, the faces that I've inserted and you know just move them off and that way I can like on the hood I can basically delete these faces because you're not really going to see through the hood anyway so um, it's a little bit different in terms of the grill area because I don't want to be able to actually see through the grill but doing this for the hood you're not going to see through it anyway because the hood's going to be a pretty much solid piece of geometry and that's where you can see it's just going to take a a little bit of time to, to actually go ahead and make our car and, and mesh the the right way. It's just it's just technical, it's just time and it's just effort, that's all. And any time I uh, adjust verts on one side, I always, you know, delete the other side so that I can just simply mirror it over. And it also helps here, you know, on the door and on the window because it doesn't make any sense to make the door on both sides because chances are you're not going to extrude or inset the, the geometry exactly the same on both sides. So if you just do it on one side, you really shouldn't have too much of a problem. and it'll basically keep it the same on both sides I'll duplicate the geometry there for for the windows and just move it off and that's going to help later on down the road whenever we actually go to make um, the geometry for our glass because it'll allow us to go ahead and make the uh, the metal pieces that go around the window and the rubber grommets that um, keep the window from leaking so with one piece of geometry you can you know very simply make three instead of just having one where it's just glass
And I'll go ahead and add them to their own layer here. So I can keep them out of the way. And see what I'm doing. And if you've noticed, you know, you'll see me mirror the geometry a lot. And this is just to give myself an idea of how the car is actually looking. Um, and that's just the way I work. Um, some people work differently and some people work very similar. It's just, you know, it's just the way I work. As you can see, I extracted you know the geometry for what would be the hood there, or I'm sorry, the roof. And I'll move it up a little bit because we have to add a little bit of uh, detail underneath of it there. We're going to go ahead and use an inset here to go ahead and make our windshield. And as you can see, I don't do a, a huge inset. Um, it's somewhat minor in terms of uh, cutting out those pieces. And, and that just simply allows me to sort of retain a very hard edge around the, the specific body parts of the of the model. You know, whether it be the, the windshield here, um, the hood, you know, the doors, the windows, whatever. It's very similar. It's basically the the same tool as that's in Max. The inset tool is. It's just basically a Python script.
and as you can see our, our model is basically starting to to come together it just takes time and, and effort to make your vehicle and um, make your model look the the way that you want it to look it's just it's got to put time into it and you know the more tweaking and the and the more editing you do it comes together better so um, just put some effort in and you'll get there You can see that our car is starting to starting to come along. 